<laughs> okay. How are you doing, Leah? Yay! Oh, it's been it's been rough. <laughs> Let's just say it's been rough. Um, so, anyways, guys, today we're going to be drawing a cup. So, one of the things I want to talk to you about is perspective. Some of you have seen this lesson before. Some of you have seen it and forgotten it. <laughs> so, um, I want you to take a look here at this cup and I want you to tell me where the pencil is sitting on the cup. Is it sitting closer to us? Is it farther away? Where is the pencil sitting in, on the cup? In the middle. Diane, no. reckon. Closer to us? No, nope, it's I in the middle. Diana, I up. say in the no, middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I disagree. <laughs> it's exactly in the middle. Huh. Exactly in the middle, right? Look, see? Nope, you're not trying. Yeah. Wait, I'm not, I, I don't see that. There oh, there you go. Exactly in the middle. Well, not exactly in the middle because I have it a little bit tilted, but it's it's basically in the middle. What does the pencil tell us? What? What does the pencil tell us? That what looks like the middle is not the middle. Doesn't what that that what is the middle does not look like the middle. So oh, okay. So this is I only knew it was middle because of the handle. Right. This is the exact middle of the cup. What this shows us is that there's two sides to the cup. There is a back side and there's a front side. And even though these two halves are the same size in reality, uh, when you're drawing them, they don't look that way. So here is the biggest mistake I see every drawer make, even experienced drawers make this because they don't know what's happening perspective wise. What's happening perspective wise with this cup is that this half of the cup, just like the road, you know, when you draw a road and it start, it get, and you're making it smaller and it goes away from you and it rises up, this back half is smaller. So that's gonna be important as we start working on this drawing. Uh, everybody makes their mouths, the mouths of the cups too big and you try to make the center the exact center, but they're not the same size. So that is the point of the pencil test. Got it? So we'll come over here and take a look at how this plays out. Hold on. I'll turn off the lights. I'm really not seeing that. So I need some help here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're, you don't get it, right? Like it doesn't, you're, you're, you're intellectually having a problem trying to grasp that, right? No, it's it feels to me like the back half of the cup is bigger than the front half. It isn't. The front half, the back half of the, cup of, of the cup is smaller. I want you to look at this again one more time before we, before I move this. Oh, are you talking about here? It's obvious, right? You get what's happening here. Yeah, there I get it. But on this, I don't get it because it feels like the handle is. I'll show you how that works. Yeah. yeah. So it's tricky I feel like the handle is further down in the front than in the back. That is exactly right. So we will take a look at where the halfway point is. Sorry to be dense here. No, 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 you're absolutely right, it's tricky. Oh, down. Okay, so let me turn to Leah Demo. Let's take a look at this. See if I can add the spotlight. Can you guys see two now? Can you see yes. me? On the yes, top? yes. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's actually really good. I know it is nice, isn't it? Right? Because uh -huh. see me and let's see. All right. Oh yeah, there you go. Right. Perfect. So, Aaliyah, don't for okay. Oh, sorry. The halfway. I was gonna say, don't forget to record. I've got it. I've got it. And I am not. I didn't even record any of the swear words. We're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you come at an angle, it makes sense. Right. Right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. If you draw it like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? So yeah. if you look, you will see that this top half is not the same as this bottom half. Uh-huh. Right? The top half is shorter. It's smaller. But the bottom half is bigger. It's kind of wider in every way. So we don't know, you know, we know how to think about, um, how do I put this? We know how to think about like a, a cube, right? As having sides. But we don't think of a, a rounded thing as having sides, but a rounded thing has sides, 
cup has sides. Uh, notice as well that when the cup, although the cup's sitting flat, and that's because we're looking at the sides of the thing. I mean, roughly, I don't want to wreck this too much. You can see this is the side of the cup. Here's another side of the cup, right? So this is like the front of the cup. These are the sides of the cup. And that's why, although the cup sits flat on the table, it looks like when we're looking at it, there's a curved line down here. And this is really interesting to me because this is one of those lessons where even when a student comes to me and they're a pretty good drawer, if they don't understand perspective, they screw this up. They do this. Let's see, I wanna do something where, I'm gonna do it where, we'll do it here, right? They'll draw this. Oh yeah, this is what people draw. That's how people will draw a cup, right? Because it's got this flat base and this is the same side as the other. And that doesn't look right, does it? At all, doesn't look right. So. So I think one of the things we got to know is that in reality, this back side is smaller and it's kind of a little bit more angled in. You see how it doesn't go out. Oh no. What? My phone. What happened? Paint all over it. <laughs> mine I is covered in red. It's one yeah, of the- but Mine went into the microphone. Oh uh, no. <laughs> Oh no, it's one of those days. Anyways, as you can see, although we intellectually know that these things are happening, right? You gotta keep this in mind that the back half of the cup is always gonna be smaller than the front half of the cup. And it's good to identify where that is. So yeah, um, I don't think you guys will need, if I can get up here far enough, you can see this, you're gonna need, so the biggest problem here is because I'm using my phone. I can't take too many pictures right now. So I'll just oh. up. I'm sorry, Diana, that sucks. Oh, my, by it's the way, my own fault. No, no, it's just how it happens. Can't just, you blame the cat? I thought it was the, a cat mishap. <laughs> oh, it was me. Fuck. All right. Well, no cursing on the site. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, this was not a good phone day. Oh yeah, it's a it's a rough one. All right. So uh, the next question is, what direction is the um, light coming from? From the right hand okay. side. Yeah. Right. And the front. Front right. Yeah. How can you tell? From the shadow inside the cup and the shadow on the floor. Interestingly, so notice something. You would think that the shadow, if the shadow is going just to this direction, right, that the shadow would be on this side. But on the inside of the cup, here, let's see if I can sketch this so you can see it. Very um, there we go. The shadow will be on the opposite side of where, on the inside of the cup only, the shadow will be on the opposite side of the direction of the cup. So there's a shadow here. There's a shadow. That here. is blowing my mind. Right? Wait, say that again. So that the shadow will always be. So if there is a shadow, if the light is coming this way and the shadow is going this way, yeah. on the inside of the cup, it'll be on the opposite side. Yeah, it, oh feels, it feels like it shouldn't be. It, it feels, feels like, like it shouldn't be. It feels like it shouldn't be. <laughs> So it's that's all a mind. Oh it's all a mind. You know what? <laughs> I mean, like, it's so funny because we talk about, and I don't know if I've told you guys the story of like studying in Armenia with this amazing painter. And uh, he was trying to teach me how to do faces. By then, I'd been an artist about like six, seven years, maybe eight years. I was just starting to teach. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna show you how to do faces, draw this skull. And I drew this skull that he had given me and he looked at it and went, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna draw coffee cups. 
you need you need to understand basic perspective and you don't so i think about that a lot like to me the coffee cup is the sort of key element here so maybe what i'll do here i'm going to take this down for a second i'm going to take a picture of it and send it across hold on the thread and then i'll draw so you guys can see it and you can draw with me What's that? Uh, Edith, did you um, did you lose your power? Did you lose your power? Yes, I did. I did. So I I miss all the perspective explanations. So don't blame me. <laughs> I'm not blaming you at all. And I fall. Okay. No, oh, yes. actually, 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 my question was, did you lose power over the over the past week or did you not lose power? It is in my neighborhood. So I was curious to know if she lost power. Yes, we lost power too. Yeah. Horrible. So mad. It was the worst. All right. So here we are. So let's get back here. So you now, you guys now have, let's see here. Come on up. Can I get both this? I think I can get both of this. So let's start with the pencil as we start with the drawing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to scoot this just a little bit. Can you guys see that? There we go. I think that's enough. Um, I'll scoot it over when we're gonna draw the shadow. But let's start with the pencil and we're gonna start with these kind of this big circle. In fact, I might sort of violate my policy of doing the outside lines here because I want you to get the shapes of the thing. So there's this, is that right? Hold on. There you go. So there's this shape, right? Which is here. I'm sorry, the light isn't fantastic today. Wait, you can't even see the, can you see that? Here, I'll draw this really dark so you guys can see it. There we go. All right. And then there's this shape, which kind of comes out like here, that's here. It's kind of a straight line that comes down like that. And then around up like this. And then we can draw this curved line, ah, maybe out like that. So you want to kind of, as you're sketching this, you want to make sure that, oops, here, let me make this really big. Can you guys see that? You want to make sure that this shape is the biggest, that this is the right, you know, that this is big enough, and that this is the kind of smaller shape, right? This is the inside of the cup. I'm going to scoot it just a little bit further. There we go. And then if I want to check my measurement, now that I have this down here, I can now check and see how many, oh, look at that. From here to here is the same as the distance from the lip to the bottom of the cup, right? So actually here is the halfway point. So I can actually measure this from here and mark that to make the bottom of my cup. So now I know proportionally I have the right thing happening here. I think it's going to be easier. Again, this is going to stop uh, not uh, here and not down here, but up a little bit because then I'm going to draw a curve line. Oh, in fact, it's going to go up a little higher, I think. Mm 
and then it comes in like this. Let's see, this lines up about the here. Right, so this comes out, kind of curves up here. Right, and then let's see this. Just showing you what I'm doing here. This measurement, this is mm, as wide as mm, as wide as this piece. Mm, is that true? Yeah, that's exactly true. So if I go to here, I can mark out here the edge of my top. So I know like how far out it goes. That's always really important to know how far out something goes. And then see, I'm kind of sketching in. Yeah, you can see that better. I can see that. Maybe I think it's better to kind of try and get this round, this shape in here, which is sort of curved, but also has a sort of angled element to it, like that. And then down here. So if I get, it's kind of like an eye this shape in here. And now I can bring down the handle. Like that. And then once I've got that, I can start getting in the shadow areas. It's a shadow here. So I'm actually talking to you guys about how to use one method. Notice I'm establish using this to kind of establish everything else. And then there's this. I'm gonna give you an option. You do not actually have to get the design on this cup. You totally do not, if you do not want to. Uh, you can pick your cup. You don't even have to do a blue cup if you don't want to. But if you want to, you can. That's what I'll be doing and showing you how to mix, but you totally don't have to. And there's the lid. Now, this might come out a little bit higher. And I'm so sorry, the visuals aren't fantastic today. But you're with us, that's... I, yes, even me swearing, is that better? <laughs> I'm you. I am with you. Thank God. <laughs> All right. And then the shadow is pretty easy to add in, as you can see. It's not too bad. Thank you, Diana. Diana kind of talked me off the ledge early in the game. I called her when I had to cancel the lessons yesterday. There we go. Yeah, so don't stress out about this stuff. You don't have to do that stuff. 
And then let's take this off. I'm gonna take this off so I can take a picture of it. Hold on. Take a picture of this so you guys can see this better. My drawing. And then the drawing. And things feel weird in this photo because as Lisa B pointed out, the um the perspective is a little weird, right? So hold on, let me get that again. I want to get both so you can see what. Oh, there we go. And if anybody wants me to look at them, look at their cup, I'm happy to do that. But that's the kind of side by side. Oops, I can see I made that a little bit too big. It's so funny when you take a picture of something, you can totally see it. So see how I'm kind of thinning that out. Like, there are some lines that make a big difference and others that are less important. Anybody want to? Um, anybody want to? Uh, send in their pictures? Yes. You want to send them in so I can take a look at them? Which means I'm sorry, I can't put this key on. Although, no, I can't. <laughs> Let's see. All right. I'll do. Okay, Paul. So this is way too. Um, all right. Darn it. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to hold this up. Paul, your, 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 your um, handle is way too narrow. Look at the size of it. It's as wide as this. Leah, I cannot see you. I don't know why I what? love you. You can't see Leah demo right now. No, I can't. I just see your head. Yeah, you can't. I'm holding up. You can't see Leah demo because if I'm looking at my phone, I can't. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, let's see. Lisa B, this needs to come. All right. This line, can you see that? Lisa B, this line needs to come a little bit more angled like this. So this, look at this shape up here. You're talking about the top line? Yeah, where I'm pointing with my eraser. Yep. Can you see that? Make sure this line is up too high. It should be a little bit lower like that. Okay. Take a look at that. Uh, otherwise, okay. I think your cup is too narrow, but let me- It's too narrow? Yeah, I think you've made it too long. Although oh, okay. The portion is right. So hold on one. Maybe not. Is it too skinny? Yes, it's too skinny. Okay. So you have your cup as, look at how it's wider than it is high. See oh. That? Yeah. Okay, I'll fix that. Thank you. Absolutely. I think it'll, yes. So I think- Yeah, something was wrong and I just didn't know what. Yep, yep, yep. And then, so yes, so it's partly that. Um, Paul, uh, whoops. If you can see here, this is uh -huh. too small. It's way too small. It's yeah, I just fixed small. it. I just great. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. Anybody else want to send theirs in for this scintillating, wonderful? Oh, Rallo, good. I'm still working on mine. Okay. Uh, Rallo, you're uh, not bad. Hold on, I'm looking at a couple things. Way too big. Cup is not too big. It's exactly the size it should be. You know what's too small? What? The handle. Handle. So look at the shape. Look at this shape 
And you'll see if you look on the source. Hold on one second, sorry, I'm trying to get the screen back. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Look at the shape of the inside of the handle so your handle doesn't extend far out enough. Believe it or not, this is exactly the right proportions for the cut. Great. Okay. But the handle comes out as far as this, the width of this shape. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Yeah. And really what I'm looking at here, here I'll point to the issue that you need to look at. Look at this shape. It's like yeah, an, it needs to extend out farther. It needs to come out a little bit farther this way. When you get this shape right, it'll be easier, easier. But actually, but it's a good thing to notice that this feels wrong, right? Like it's a good thing yeah. to notice that this is like. But it, it, it's interesting because all the lines of the shadows seem to hook up as well. Yeah. Right. So if you look at the top of the shadow of the mug on the left hand side, it, it sort of like feeds into the bottom of the shadow. You need it. Agreed. The top of the shadow of the. Um, of the coffee cup. Right. Right. Agreed. Exactly. Okay, Laya, that's pretty good, but I want you to look at two things. I'm going to point, I'm going to hold up, I'm going to hold up where you need to correct your shape. Look at this shape. Yours is like a, like your idea of a coffee cup and not the shape of this coffee cup. Look at this shape. It's like an eye almost. Can you see that? So I want you to reshape your handle by reshaping this hole like that, really looking at that shape here. And uh, let's see, it should feel, and then uh, the other thing you wanna do, Laya, really look at this shape. I think it's a little skinny up, up here. This shape. I'm so sorry about the equipment fail, you guys. Okay, Leah. We'll get there. Anybody else want to send theirs in? Yeah, I'll send you mine. I think I know what's wrong, but I'll send it to you. And that's why something like this, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is great because this will be a great practice. Um, if we if we might as well actually do the uh, there we go let's see yeah um, <laughs> top looks good one two is the width right uh, your width is a little bit skinny okay. if you look at your if you look at your width your width should come up to here. So the width of your cup should come almost up to here. You see? Okay. And then, yes. And then what is the mistake that you think you know? Oh gosh, I forgot. Well, I I you I feel like the like right, triangular okay. kind of turn your, shape turn your thing is turn well, your down and I'm going to show you how to look at this. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm going to turn this back. I'm going to turn back on the zoom so you can look at this. I'm going to turn this sketch upside down so you can really see it. We're going to turn this upside down. It's going to be easier to correct your shapes. So I'm going to sketch and I want you to look at these shapes upside down. And I'm going to sketch these in really dark that you can see them. It's kind of flat on the top here when you look at it up down. Oh yeah. Right? There yep. is a kind of almost a crescent moon here. There's this little kind of almond shape with a flat bottom. So take a moment to, to correct. Also look at how thick it is here and then here too. So that's like kind of the, let's see here. I'm gonna draw this, you can really see it. Yeah, that's better. There you go. So double check your shapes. Does it help to look at it upside down? Yes. Yes. Totally. Yes. There you go. I got that handle all wrong. Yes. 
Because you started getting confused about what you thought was a hand. You, str you struggled because you stopped looking at the shapes, really, right? And then you started confusing yourself. I'm going to get some clean water. I don't have any. How's that? When any, if anybody wants me to look again. Um, how's my handle now? I'll have to take this off. So are you guys ready? Mm. Uh, you know, Hold you on. can turn, and turn it upside down. Let me just send this That's up true. so you can look at it. Hold on. Let me just do that really quick. You're going to need three gadgets, an iPad and an <laughs> iPad and my iPad just lost it. Oh, uh, Lisa B, that's too flat. I'm assuming you're seeing that you had to correct your, your base. Yeah, I'm correcting a whole bunch of things. Um, All right. How's my handle? This upside down. How's my handle? <laughs> oh. right. Hang on. Now I can look. Uh, yeah, um, even even believe it or not, Rollo, did you look at it upside down? I didn't, no. So look at it upside down, dude. You're going to see the problem. It's right there. Your handle's uh -huh. the You're so close, but your handle is the wrong shape. So look upside down. Okay. Where is that picture of it upside down? I can't find it now. Um, I took it, well, I sent it across the WhatsApp. For it oh, okay, from the WhatsApp, okay. Uh -huh. Anyway, normally I have three devices, but my device is having a device fail right now, so I can't use it. So I have to use my phone for both things. Here, hold on. That is the problem. What happens is occasionally, sometimes my device will turn on to it to be accessible. It turns, meaning if, so if somebody's blind and they're trying to use it, um, it will turn on to this really horrible mode. And in fact, while you guys are working on this, I'm going to see if I can fix it. Work. Ah. It's too short and too wide now. Yeah, there's always something, isn't it? So use this, you guys. This is the first thing you establish. So this is what you use to measure everything. This. Nothing more than use this to use to be the base for all your measurements. You've established that first. So I'm confused. I can't work out what's wrong with my handle, even when it's upside down. <laughs> Look at this shape. Hang on, I've got to get back to you. I'm gonna point. I'm gonna point to it so you can see it. You need. It's like an oblong shape. There's a straight edge here, and then it's almost like an eye upside down. Straight edge out and kind of at an angle. See, so I need to see this much dark here before I see the outer edge of your handle.
might be able to get. Hold on. While you guys are working, I might be able to. <laughs> yes. So Diana. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. I know, thank you. <laughs> I was very happy. I was like, oh my gosh. Good. Sunday night I was trying to celebrate, but then you know, when you have one of those impromptu celebrations, you're just like, yeah, what no one to celebrate with. <laughs> yeah. That is the weird thing about time right now, right? I know. And the worst thing is, is that I was supposed to be watching Tom and Jerry, the movie, on uh, um, Monday night. Work? And because that news came in, I completely forgot. I was doing the interviews the next morning. <laughs> and I woke up and I was like, shit, I forgot to watch Tom and Jerry and I've got interviews in an half an hour. How did you solve that? Um, you well, wing the interviews, right? <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, the publicist had told me she was going to put me in my interviews after 11 because I said that's what time I was going to be available. And she put my interview at 9.30 in the morning and I was like, <gasps> so I thought I could get away with it by watching some of it. And then I realized I couldn't get away with it. But I called her and I said, you said you were going to put me after 11. And she said, oh shit, I forgot. I'm so sorry. We might be able to change it. And I was like, please do because I haven't seen the film. <laughs> <laughs> my first, first, my first uh, yeah, assignment after getting nominated for Arts and Entertainment Journalist of the Year, <laughs> and I didn't watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're, yep, you, you know, that's just, now you're disqualified, Rollo. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, what Rollo is talking about, for those who don't know, is um, the LA Press Club Press Awards. Yeah. Which I feel like we've been talking about for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, they're happening later than usual because of the pandemic. So Yeah, they are. We've been talking about them longer than normal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Right after this, the SoCal journal Journalism Awards are coming up. Oh, God, maybe I'll apply for those as well. But I yeah, feel like yeah. I can apply for my green card now. <laughs> well, that's good. It's good yeah. to have some awards when you do that. Well, that's the point. You're supposed to. If you. Oh, interesting. So that's why I was applying mainly, because I just needed to get some sort of because Reuters don't really, well, the television side of Reuters don't ever put you forward for any awards. Why not? I don't know. We're funny about that. Really? Yeah, you really have to do it yourself. They do for photos a lot. Yeah, they really do for photos. But I think that's just because photos knows. But I don't think there was any photo entries this year from Reuters. I think Reuters sure. kind of lose it. Guess what? You guys were in good shape. Well, I mean, our photographers have been winning Pulitzers for a couple of years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we don't we, <laughs> who want, who No, wants I mean, we have we have amazing photographers. They, yeah. They should have entered. I know Lucy normally does, but yeah, I'm, you know, you know there's a pandemic going on, and yeah, I know. I think it wasn't, might not have been a priority, but no, but our graphics people did. I, I was the one who bugged the graphics people, Diana, and they're 
they're in there. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah, one of them is for um, this Star Wars graphic they did about with light, about lightsabers. Did you see that, Rollo? Yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah, I um, I t I urged them to to enter that. So I that was a finalist, and I think we had one other graphic in there. So that's cool. All right, guess what? I think we're in good shape, you guys. I think we're back in business. So hold on, I'm gonna log out with my phone. Give me one second, and I think I'm back. And I appreciate your patience. So, Diana, who do I need to court and Lisa? <laughs> well, it, it doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I, we know oh, to win, it go, they get judging to... ourselves. We're not judging ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> it goes to another press club to judge. No, mm -hmm. not the National Art oh. Entertainment. It goes to it goes to seasons, seasoned art and entertainment people all around the country, oh. individuals. Ooh. Yeah. Seasoned, I like that. So I can't <laughs> send them chocolates. <laughs> no, no, doesn't help. And when it comes to SoCal awards, then we swap award, awards judging with other clubs so they, judge for us and we judge for them check this out i think we've got it absolutely there we are i think we've got the bigger notepad up up uh up here so you guys it should be much easier to see can you guys see that yeah yay all right so now we're back to go ahead and just send stuff over i can look at it and not interrupt i sent you mine leah and I set an upside down one and a right side up one. Paul, better. Lisa, better. Um, that looks, wait, let's see. I'm just looking at Which it. Lisa? I'm looking at Lisa R right now. Okay. So uh, Rollo that, now you've got it. Now you've got it. Good job. I'm looking at everybody's upside down since I've got this upside down. Let's see, Lisa B, let's see. Lisa R, that's better. Um, Lisa B, let's see what we can do here to take a look at this. I'm gonna put this next to it so that we can see. Right, um, that looks pretty good. This looks pretty good, one. You're in good shape, Lisa B. Okay. I know it looks totally wrong, right? Yeah, it looks wrong. <laughs> uh, don't forget to bring your shadow down here a little bit, but that's actually right. Let's see, Edith, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna hold them up. I really love the concept of the upside down drawing. Mm. And so notice, all right, Edith, this needs to, if you'll notice, I've got this up here, so you can see, we can see your drawing. So Edith, you need to curve this bottom part a lot more. And I want you to look, the bottom part of your cup, Edith, needs to come straight out, not curved the way you have it. So see, there's a curve. So uh, let me see, I'm gonna sketch it in so you can see what you're doing. So Edith, yours looks like this, right? It looks flat, but really there's this curve up here that you wanna get in place. And then here, your, your, cup is, your cup handle is going like this. And I'll do it with like blue or something. So Edith, this is what your cup handle is doing. I cannot see you, Leah. Okay, no, 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 no. See that? See, that's what your, this blue line is what your cup handle is doing. This is what the cup handle is actually doing. I see. Got it? Got it. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. So 
Uh, Rebecca, yes, that looks pretty dang good. I'm going to look at it upside down, so if you don't mind, since we're looking at this. Well done. Uh, Rebecca, you could bring up that curve a little bit more on this side. Say that again. Bring this curve. That yours is a little bit like, here, I'll do it in blue. Yours is like this. Oh, okay. You can bring it up a little bit more on that side. All right. Yeah, good job, you guys. And just note, this is the joy of perspective. What feels wrong is actually is actually right. And Lisa, let's see, one, two. Let's see if we can hold this. You sent it to me upside down, didn't you, Lisa? Wait, hold Wish on. Lisa. Lisa R. I'd sent you both upside down and right side up. I'm looking at it. One, two. So that's in pretty good shape. Yep. Yep. Believe it or not, Lisa R, that's better than it than it probably feels. Okay. <laughs> I, I have I have a question on the curve on the bottom. Yeah. The bottom of the cup. Yeah, you've got it. You've got okay. it. Okay. All right. Never mind. And that's because we're looking at it from this crazy angle. Okay. Yeah. Good job, hon. Thank you. It feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Always, the joys of this. All right. Is everybody done here or do you want me to keep it up for a little bit longer? We've got plenty of time. Wait, do you want us to do the shadow? I haven't done the shadow yet. Do the shadow. Do the shadow? Yeah, do the shadow. Okay. And I will show you how to paint this in blue, but I'm going to encourage you to play with your own color. So if you want to try a different color, uh, you totally can. Um, it is kind of ridiculous to be looking at me here, isn't it? I'll make this bigger. I'm going to remove that. There we go. This is so I got some Thalmo blue, whatever it's called. Yes. <laughs> but what are we going to use? If we're going to have a blue cup, what should the base be, Diana? <laughs> I didn't listen. I'm sorry. What, what did you get? Oh, what is the what should we make the base if this Great. is a blue cup? What should the base be? Orange. Oh, I would I would use patalo patalo blue and uh, some okra. What for the base? For the base. For oh, the then I would use patalo blue. No, no, no. We're talking about yeah, the burnt sienna. painting, the underpainting. What do we use for the base, the underpainting? Oh, I say yeah. I say yellow. Yeah, uh, then you not yeah. yellow, but we'll do orange. We'll use orange. All right. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. All right, I was using a kind of, uh, I, I realized I wasn't using the normal term that I normally use. You so, mean for the underpainting, right? Underpainting, yes. I totally screwed that up. That was my bad. Well, I hope well, that- got quinacridone red. I'm so proud of myself. Good job. We're probably not gonna use it today, but unless you decide to add that in somewhere. <laughs> Your background, but that is good. That is good, sir. All right, so I'm going to put the my palette paper here, and uh, you can use you, you can mix like white and red to make orange, or you can use burnt sienna, whatever you've got. I'm not, I'm kind of tired of using burnt sienna. I think I'm going to try mixing yellow and red. See what I get. So I will. You're tired of burnt sienna. Yeah, I'm not really. I mean, I use burnt sienna quite a lot, but not not really, but just for the fun of it. Let's mix a little just cadmium red. Boy, you really it's amazing how the colors aren't great. And and some cadmium yellow. So here they are, cadmium red and cadmium yellow. This will make a great orange color. And I'm really saying you have a very good student if you let your teacher lose her mind a little bit. Thank you. <laughs> like, oh my God. You have an excuse. I have an excuse, I guess. You definitely have an excuse. All right. What? So I'm just mixing some red and yellow together. With my brush because I can't find my palette knife right now. So I'm just mixing with my brush. 
And at least you haven't been cold, right? You have. To... Oh my God! Yes, yes. Uh, last night, yes. Yesterday, the heat came back on, and I was back. It was amazing. I'm like, I'm a slave to power. <laughs> you all are. To power. All right. So I'm going to start with the darkest areas here, and I'm using a lot of red in this part of the mix because I want uh, this base to be very uh, dark. But a lot of red, a little bit of yellow. And you'll notice my brush is fairly dry. So you see the paint is kind of sitting on it. Not that means I dipped it, and then I squeezed it a little bit with this red. So, so I want this uh, paint not to be drippy. And I'm, I'm going to do the same thing here with my shadow. With the shadows, I'm doing this kind of, oh, it's a really pretty color. You notice I'm going around the cup. I'm going to the inside. Don't worry if you get a little paint into um, a little paint into the into your other areas. It's okay, it won't kill it. You know, I've got a little bit drifting off in here. That's okay. But I do want to keep this kind of the darkest area. And maybe also up here where the shadow is on the cup, which is here. You see, this is pretty thick here. <coughs> here. So right now I'm not going to worry about this pattern. I'm probably just going to do a plain blue cup. You guys do not have to do the pattern on the cup unless you want to. So this is the dark, uh, the dark. Let me take a picture of it. Now I can. And then we'll let this, and when we finish this, well, we still got the light. There you go. All right. I'm doing a dog that looks like a Muppet. Mm. <laughs> Which Muppet? There's lots of Muppets. Is a commission? Yeah, it is. Nice. Well, you tell me, this is what the dog looks like. Send it, send it over. Oh, I, I just lost it. Oh. Is your phone okay? My phone? I don't know if my phone is okay. Oh, dear. oh I no. Have... I hate that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, I got paint in, I got paint in the speaker. Oh, no. Mm. All right, I am. But maybe, maybe, maybe it works for taking photo. So we can look at. It works for taking photos. Good, good. So it's not completely ruined. You guys let me know when you're ready to go to the next step. So I guess I'll take a look at your stuff. Hmm. Okay, he does look Muppety. <laughs> this looks a lot like the dog you were painting the other day. Is it the same dog? It is the same dog. Oh, okay, he was a lot lighter the last time I, we saw him. Yeah, he's gonna get lighter. Yeah. And here is what he really looks like. Oh my goodness, he does look like a Muppet. <laughs> and it's all kind of the same color. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's value changes. Yeah. Good job with the value changes. Really nice. It's a... I think they call Ital Italian Lisotto dogs or something like that. Oh, yeah. Cute. All right, there we go. You 
guys let me know. I've got the the I've got the drawing uh, the the black and white so you can see the value shifts as we get to the lighter colors in the orange. Is anybody ready to see this from me? Anybody ready for me to demo this? Um I'm I don't think I I'm need ready. A little more time. Yeah. Get the darks in? Okay. I mean, all I have is the darks in right now. So of this underpainting. So but but yes, I can wait. I can wait. Do we do the lighter bits if we Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Just adding a bit more water. water. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We use a lot more water here. Right. I'm gonna go and change my water. It's so dirty. Yeah, and in fact, uh, I'm just gonna do this really quick because you guys, it's not rocket science or anything. We are just going to do the lighter bits. These are close to the same. This is a little bit darker. But these are strangely close to the same value. So this kind of light area in here, I'm using mostly yellow. And then up here, it gets dark again. Not quite as dark as down here. Maybe mix a little yellow in, a little bit more yellow for this. And then the background, oh yes, and then down here. Oops. So I'm going to go in, let's see, I want to cover everything with paint and I'm just going to sort of lightly do a light watery orange to the outside of the cup. Sorry, what color is that, Leah? Just orange with more, it's the same orange with more water. So see how okay. my orange is really watery and it's dripping. My orange is way orangier than yours. Yeah, so you should- I put some yellow in. Uh, no, I wouldn't, you can, I wouldn't put, you could put yellow in it, but mostly it's watering it down with more water. Mm. Right, it shouldn't be as dark as your shadow. Even Mine in that- very cadmium yellow or cadmium orange. Even in that almond shape thing in the cup, that's an orange or that's a yellow? Well, I made that more yellow because okay. it's like, yeah, it's it's the lightest area. Really here and here are the lightest areas. Um, if we go a little darker, it's not so bad. It's not the worst thing that can happen. It's worse to go lighter, really. All right, so there you go. Let me take a picture of this. So you can see it. Yeah, just know that you have two ways to go lighter. The best way. Okay, Paul, that was good. So now add your lighters in. The best way to go light. Okay. Hold on. There we go. There you go. The best way to go light is to add more water to your brush. If you can see all this water off to the side here. Oh, yeah. I... <laughs> you will I have, I have no clothes that aren't ruined by paint. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good, Lisa. Now you yeah, can... it's good. They, I didn't spend that much on these jeans. Oh, did you get paint on your clothes? Yeah. You have to have painting clothes. I know. I should know better by now. Well, now she does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these are like secondhand <laughs> jeans, whatever. I'll figure it out. Looks great. Okay. Um, Rollo, make this part darker up here. Yeah, I'm going to put this. Uh, the top. What? The top here. Above the light yellow. This is so dark. Yeah, yep. And then make it dark also, Rollo, on this side of the cup down here where it's dark. Yeah. So get that side. Mm -hmm. 
I was like, I actually did some research and I'm like, I am totally going to give the West Coast the best subject this week. Easiest one. <laughs> How did you do it when you didn't have the internet? Um, I did it this morning. Ah. I picked all of the subjects for all the classes. Yep, Lisa. So now just use yellow for here. Okay. And then um, sort of a yellowy, wa yellow, watery, yellow yellowy thing up there. Out there, all around. Okay. Uh, this will look so amazing when it dries and we can get the blue on it. Okay. And then we'll practice. I'm excited. So, and actually, now this is true. Like, what is our palette going to be? I haven't even all of the hullabaloo. I don't even have time to think about the palette. So, I'm going to think about a palette while you guys do this. Let's see. There's definitely phthalo blue. And I agree with Diana, perhaps a little yellow ochre, but some people might not have that. So, but I know you should all have phthalo blue. Actually, I'm really pleased at how much we're using phthalo blue. I, I tend to avoid it. I love phthalo blue. Yeah, it's, um, it's a really, I, I paint so many natural things and so many warm things that I think I just tend to avoid it. Because I like it with uh, white and sky colors. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. That's absolutely true. It is a great- It, remi it reminds me of South Park, you know, when they have the sky scene, it's the same thing. Well, I'm pleased that, that we're finding all these subjects that have phthalo blue, like those mountains we did the other week, where it was really clear that the phthalo blue was the one that you used. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow paper here if you don't have it. Diana, I agree with you. And then for the shadow, I'm thinking. Pounded it out. Yeah, this is going to be pretty simple, I would say. Nice. A little bit of work in there. And then you guys get to decide what your background is. Yeah. So yeah, the two colors that we have, we'll use those, red and um, yellow. And then we're going to add, here, I'll write this down and send it across so you can see it. I'm going to add the blue. What's that second one? What? Ochre. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try ochre. It might okay. not be. We'll see. Anyway, I, I'm, hold on. I've got, I'm going to take a picture of this. It's funny. I was watching the movie Fargo, and uh, the, uh, you know, the story <laughs> has, uh, he's, in a, he's at an Oldsmobile uh, right. car dealership, and he, and they said burnt sienna about the, the car. I was like, oh, that's, we could use that color. <laughs> Burn Sienna. It's a very arty. Sienna. Here's our palette. Uh, Lisa B. Oh, arty. That. Great, except that I still want you to cut your, your bottom is still too flat. Are you talking to me? Yeah, Lisa B. Look okay. At, look at your, this looks great, but I want you to look at your bottom. It's still too flat. Oh, curve it? Curve it. Okay. You can totally do that. Yes, ma'am. The orange. Flat bottom out. <laughs> there you go. And what did he say? Don't go so, fat bottom out. <laughs> yes, because fat bottom girls make the world go. I'm a flat bottomer. <laughs> <sighs> uh, can not help it. All right, send a picture if you'd like me to take a look. Otherwise, we will put this aside and start practicing mixing. And we'll practice a little blending. I'll send you mine, Leah. I'm not really sure what I've done here. I'm, you might be horrified. I'm just. Or maybe you've got it right. Warning you. Oops, hold on. I did not take a very good picture. I think. Oh, I got Jesso. I got Jesso. I have Jesso. 
Okay, honey. Yes, that was good. Yay. Looks looking great. Eugene, very nice. Great. Let's see, Leia. Laya. Let's just see. Uh, Edith, great. Is that's Laya's? Laya, great. You're doing great, kiddo. Hanging with the big kids. Lisa, that looks great. Lisa R, looks great. All right, I'll take it. Great. Love it. Love it. It's looking good. All right, I'm going to change my water real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do the same thing. I will be right back. Oak is kind of like a gold, right? And yeah, more like a mustard. Mustard. I've got raw seed. Oh, hang on, what's that one? What's it called? I've got it. Okay. Yeah, there is the only thing that there is raw okra and there is yellow okra. There's what okra? Uh, blue okra? Did you say raw? Raw or yeah? Oh, there's raw. There's there's raw okra. I've never seen that. I'm assuming it's kind of greenish. No, it's not. What is it? It's it's very similar. Interesting. I have never seen it. It's a little bit deeper in you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, for sure. But it, otherwise, it's. I'm gonna take away the dark here. We're, and I'm gonna move this to the side because I think you guys are all in very, you get it. We don't need it here. We'll make this kind of front and center. And then we'll give ourselves a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put you, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna put this over here. So you really don't need to look at it right now. Leah, please, can you repeat the colors that you are using now? Yeah, I sent um, I sent it over by the thread. There's a picture of the palette, and I wrote them. But they are phthalo blue, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and uh, titanium white. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I know it's a little hard. And the last one. Okay, thank you. Yellow ochre, burnt umber, and titanium white. Yeah, well, any white that you've got. Okay. Yeah, if what what's an option if you don't have yellow ochre? What's a substitute for that? Um, what do you have that's yellow? Cadmium yellow and lemon yellow. Um, use one of the yellows. Okay. Yeah, you can burn. You can mix it with burnt umber. Yeah, or burnt sienna. Yeah. Burnt sienna would also work. That's a good one. Okay. Okay, so I think we can see this all pretty well. Yes, we can. Right, excellent. Then let's start talking about mixing. So we have um, a couple of different colors that we need to mix. One is this coffee color which is it, when we look at it in the light is kind of a yellowy milky color. And then there's the shadow, which is very dark. Um, you know what, now that you say that, I think I, I think it, now I'm thinking I want, uh, I want burnt sienna on this palette as well. I'm just looking at it thinking, you know what, burnt sienna might be really helpful here. I knew you can do a night without burnt sienna. <laughs> can I do <laughs> yellow ochre? <laughs> Totally. Um, all right, so burnt sienna I'm put here on the side. It's just the best color. Burnt sienna is so awesome. Yeah, it is. It really is a great color. And what can I do with my palette knife? What's here? Just check it out. Hang on, guys. I'm going to go grab a palette knife. Palette knife just said walked away.
away and I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, here's one. Okay. So so we've got this coffee color where we have to mix a shadow and a light. And then we have this blue color where we have to mix a shadow and a light. So uh, we're going to be playing with different blues and oranges basically to mix the shadows. Um, for the cup, we're going to try taking a little bit of phthalo blue and a touch of orange for the shadow. So this orange that you mix for your bit, you try mixing that in with your phthalo and then lightening it just a little bit with light. Yeah, I think that's going to work out nicely. <laughs> So you want to add a little bit, it feels weird to do this, but you want to add a little bit of orange into your blue for the shadows on the cup. I think that will work. For the coffee, I think we'll mix burnt sienna and yellow of some kind. If you've got yellow ochre, you can go ahead and mix that in. So yellow ochre with a little bit of burnt sienna for the light coffee. And then for the dark, you're just going to mix in blue. Hopefully that won't get too green. So these are different variations of kind of oranges. Sorry, Leah, say that again, burnt sienna and what? Uh, burnt sienna and ochre. Ochre. And then a little blue. For the a shadow. little blue. So for the light area, it's just ochre and burnt sienna. But for this, for this part, but for the dark area, we're gonna add blue to burnt ochre and burnt sienna. Actually, you know what? We might just do burnt sienna and, and ochre. Let me see that, that might be better. Oh yeah, that's gonna be better. So forget the ochre. So for the light part, we're gonna, it's, whoops. For the light part, it's going to be ochre and a little burnt sienna. For the dark part, it's gonna be burnt sienna and phthalo blue, and it'll make a really beautiful shadow. Hi baby, how can I get you? And then for the blue, the sort of regular blue, the light blue, you'll try just doing blue and white. And if that doesn't look right, it's a little bit blue, not as green. You might add a little bit of yellow of your choice to see if you can get it to look. You're saying burnt sienna and a little pathala blue or more pathala blue? And no, no, no. I'm talking about the light side now of this, the light blue. Okay. So I'm just saying you could do blue and white for the light side. I'm just playing with different yellows here, blue and white, to create a kind of, it's like a tricky blue. So you could just keep it like this, but this is a little bit blue. It's, it's kind of slightly greener. You could also try mixing in a little bit of ochre if you wanted to into this blue, light blue mix with white to make it a little bit greener. That's a little bit greener. It's a blue, but it's on the green side. In any event, you're going to add a yellow, a little bit of yellow to your blue. I'll write all these down. Let me. Uh, yeah, it. this is going too fast for me. I'm all, I didn't okay, get them all. I'm just, I'm kind of figuring them out. Uh, okay. Blue plus white plus You want 
I'm gonna actually put them down here. So I put them down here. So yeah. So that's me. Write these down and send them over to you. And then Are we allowed to use a smaller brush this week? Nope. <laughs> it's like you're using a smaller brush, Leah. I'm using it for mixing. Okay. The thing I'm using it for is that I'm, uh, what I really should do is be wiping off my palette, but I was getting kind of lazy. So I was picking a brush that didn't have any blue on it. My dad always said, Leah, don't do as I do, do as I say. I, I have <laughs> had that on my lips. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I was just going to say the same thing. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. I must have heard that 10,000 times when I was a kid. Yep. All right. So this is the cut. These are the three mixes. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to take a picture and I think I have the recipes and hopefully you can follow them. Yeah. Here are the three recipes. So the light sign, I'm going to put this up here so you can really, let's let me move the palette out of the way. I'm doing nothing but making a mess here. Thank you. This is very helpful. I love messes. Light. Yellow and burnt sienna, coffee and light. light. So the light side of the cup here is blue plus white plus a little bit of yellow kind of green up to the blue, right? The blue is not quite, this is blue, but it's a little bit greener. It's on the green side and phthalo is on the blue side. So we need to add a little yellow to it. Um, this shadow, which is here and here on the coffee cup um, is blue plus burnt sienna. And then this part of, and, and, and the dark, and this part too is also blue plus burnt sienna. If you want to, you can make this blue, but this shadow blue with burnt sienna as well. And then uh, the cop, the light coffee is just yellow. If you've got ochre, um, it's a, it's yellow ochre plus burnt, a little bit of burnt sienna or, you know, whatever yellow mixing a little bit of burnt sienna. I was wondering if we should try a glaze today. Might be. Mm, that would be nice. 
Maybe a purple glaze before we get into. Okay, that means we're, guess what, Paul? That means we get to use quinacridone. <laughs> Yay. Yay. But uh, we'll get there in a minute. So these are the mixes I think will work. They look pretty good. Guys, tell me when you're, this is my, also my painting is not quite dry, so I'm gonna use this dry. Yeah, that's my problem. Mine's not quite dry. The uh, cup is almost dry. But not, not the cup. Yeah, not, I mean, you're not ready, we're not ready yet. But, but in the meantime, we've got a lot of hard edges here. Like this is a hard edge, right? This is a hard edge, these are hard edges. But this transition is a little bit lighter. So, and in fact, if I look really closely, I see a little bit of orange in here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm gonna take a picture of it so you can see it. It's reflecting, obviously. There's something orange it's reflecting off of. Hold on, I'm gonna get a close up so you can really see. Can you see that? If you look up close here, you'll see this is a slightly orange, a little bit of orange here and orange here. We'll, we'll probably add that in off. So the place where there will be soft edges is where we go from the light to the dark side of the cup. Everything else is going to be hard edges. And Lisa, I'll let you use a small brush for this business in the handle. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you said for the darker blue, it's the burnt sienna to add to it, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's thallo and burnt sienna. Yeah, it makes a beautiful rich color, like a rich blue. Very pretty. Can you guys give me just a minute? You're so busy. You'll also, let me do this before I run off and do the next thing I need to do. You're also going to want to practice a, so take some of your light blue. Anyway, that's not as light. There we go, this is lighter. Take your light blue and then some of your dark blue, which is burnt sienna. Take your light blue and your dark blue. Give yourself a hard edge and then do practice a little blend, soft blend from hard to soft, light to dark or dark to light. So practice a little soft edge here. I know, okay. I want to go. I'm going to take Muka into the house. So. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back, you guys. Start with the darker colors first, right? I don't know. I mean, the thing is, I, I want to start with the part that's dry, <laughs> which for me is the shadow on the table. Yeah. The rest of my stuff is not quite dry yet. I use a hair dryer on mine to speed it up. I do. That's so oh. smart. <laughs> That's a good use for my hair dryer. I never use anymore. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I know. Yes. When was the last time you used yours? Yeah. Okay. 
You're I can't gone. even remember last time I wore makeup. It must be. Oh my God. Yeah. I tried to put, I, I tried to put mascara on the other day. <laughs> Have you forgotten how to do it? <laughs> well, I was like, why are my eyes watering so much? <laughs> Has anybody had a haircut? No. No. I've, 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 it's been a year. Cut my own hair. My do hair is myself. like a bush. <laughs> I know. Me too. I, I cut, cut my own hair. You cut your own? Yeah. I just gave up. I stopped with I just didn't cut it. I just, cut yeah, my I, hair. I'll get a real I haircut. Way when back I get in my October. vaccine. Wow. All right. So let's add, just to be fancy, let's add a quinopoly red. What? I'll tell you what we're gonna do a we're gonna do a quick glaze purple glaze before a we glaze yeah oh, you're we've never done a glaze before I don't think have I done a knock it on red I love a glaze I have to change my water change your water I, I might have a purple glaze uh I'll show you glazes are really fun so add a little bit of quinacridone red to your palette first thing we're not we'll do, quinacridone we're not quite up, good up, good up, good up. We're not going to wear a big brush for this. I think your, uh, my paint is dry, so I can do this. You really, this doesn't work so well. Oh. Wait, do we do the glaze at the end or we do the glaze next? I'll do it right now. So, okay. demo it. So, I'm going to demo it and then you guys are going to try it. Okay. Doing for a second. Uh, so I am mixing a little bit of phthalo blue over here with some quinacridone. How's that spelled? Uh, quinacridone, Q-U-I-N-A-C-R-A-D-O. Mm -hmm. We're very used to it after a while. I know this looks kind of like black, but it actually is a really gorgeous purple. Um, and so what I'm gonna do I'm going to clean my brush. I'm sorry, did you mix that red with something? We're not, I mixed it with phthalo blue. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah, no, I missed it too, Lisa. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, I'm like really behind here. No, no, I know, I know. And so I'm kind of like, I, I'm going to do this step and then I'm going to let you guys catch up. So uh, notice that I am going to, uh, once I get stuff on my brush, I'm going to dip my brush in water again. So it's very runny. And I'm going to dip my brush in water a couple of times so that I've got a very runny, runny, watery. See how it's dripping off? It, there's no real paint staying on my brush. And then I'm going to do just a layer, a light layer. So I should, uh, because I've got a lot of water and not so much paint, I should be able to see, you should be able to see my painting underneath but it's all going to be covered in purple. It'll look kind of bad at this point, so don't be like, you know, it shouldn't be looking gorgeous at this point. You can still see my painting, but I've just pushed it. The orange is still there, but I've taken the purple to push it to a sort of more neutral color. So this is what glazing is called. Great, it kind of unifies things. It can shift the tone. So if you've got a lot of bright colors, you want to push something back, you can take a, a complementary color or a dark color and kind of put this transparent glaze on top. It kind of unifies everything while at the same time changing. It's quite different. If I were to rub this off, you would see, right? I have a brighter painting underneath, but I don't really want that. I want I kind of want this dark, murky, it's like a murky color, like loam. So that's the first thing you're going to do. And you're going to take your big brush. Yeah. So why do we glaze? We glaze for a lot of reasons. Glazing is <laughs> purple. <laughs> Not quite. Right? It shouldn't look pretty. At this stage, the painting should not look pretty. It should look kind of murky and muddy. It should look muddy. Here, I'm going to take a picture of it. 
don't feel like I think no one could guess how to do this. I think everybody has to be trained. I need to move one eye. Yeah, it was. I noticed the eyes were a little close together. Yeah, I need to move one eye. Not only are they close, they are on the same level and they're not on the same level. Yes, because he's, he's tilting his. Yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. Ah. <laughs> What's that? Ah. Um, a tiny little bit of my painting wasn't dry all the way. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that sucks when it's not dry. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. annoying is that the color that looks purple on my palette looks blue when I put it on my thing. But anyway. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, it's so, like I said, this is an interesting example of kind of how <laughs> colors sort of put you new. <laughs> so, anyways, this should not look pretty. It should look murky. It should look muddy. I can do not pretty. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, yeah, mine's blah. All right, and I have this up here. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring down the source. Let's see. Yeah, exactly, Rolo. That's exactly what it should look like. That's exactly it. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry, though. All right, so well, I know, but it doesn't take long. Now we're going to start mixing. I'm getting my hair dryer. Yeah, get your hair. If you have a hair dryer, it will work. Okay, I can grab it. I saw someone in a Zoom call the other day. I can't remember who it was. And they had an iron in their background. And I was like, an ironing board and an iron. And I was like, why are you ironing? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. But ironing is definitely something you can let go during the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are so many things I've let let go of during the pandemic. Yeah, I know. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's, some of them are great. Like, I mean, like wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is not wearing a bra. <laughs> yes. It's yeah, pure man. freedom. <laughs> not wearing a bra is pure freedom. That is absolutely true. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. So. so look what they're gonna do tomorrow. They're gonna do this one. So you see, I made it easy on you. Oh guys. my. Yeah. That's kind of cruel. Well, they're not. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make any flowers. It's more the they can keep the cup white. Okay. I know, but it is just to mess with them, right? Like, hey guys, <laughs> and here's another one that's kind of in that 
same position. I just love that. See how he's really nice to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to torment them. <laughs> All right. We are at 7.43 and we're going to go longer because, of course, I spent the first half of the lesson cursing and not, we're going to go longer, but I know you guys, I don't know if everybody can go that much longer, so. No, I'm always starving this time, so. Yes, so. I'm going to start coloring in. So, yes, let's start coloring in. So, one of the things I wanted to point out, as always, is let's start with the darkest areas first. So I'm going to start with my blue burnt sienna mix. So I'm going to take some blue here. Oh, is it blue? It's not um, uh, it's not burnt umber. No, no, it's blue and burnt sienna. Oh Actually, no, this is for the darkness of the of the actual mug. Like here. Oh, like here. oh, okay. Right, that and the shadow on the table are the same, right? Yes, that the shadow on the table, and then there's a little bit of dark here. I'll show you where it is. So there's this blue. It's it's the the, 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 the blue, sallow blue, and burnt sienna. Yep. Okay. Yep. And there's a little bit here. You see where I'm at? Oh, it's a little shiny. Let's see if I can bring this. I'm going to switch this around to see if I can avoid some of the. That's a little bit better. There's a little bit here. There's a little bit here. And then there's a little bit here. And, down a little bit and then, yeah, there's the shadow. So all of that is uh, uh, and phthalo blue. You'll see that these colors are really looking very rich. We had a new person who I clearly scared away. <laughs> I hope they'll come back. Uh, there we go. Okay. So there's our dark. You're going to want your brush to be less wet and more like able to pick up paint. So you might take a rag after you dip it and squeeze it out before you start painting. And then um, we're going to do, let's see. We're going to do the light, let's do the, we're going to do the dark side of the actual cup, which is phthalo blue, burnt sienna, and a little and bit. Do of we have to wait for the, the glaze to dry or we just go over the glaze? No, we have to wait for the glaze to dry. We can let the glaze mix in a little bit with what we're doing. And the clay should be dry and like fairly. It goes really fast. It goes really fast. It's, it's too much water. It's not even a question. Um, so here we've got, you'll see, and notice I'm using, I'm loading my brush with burnt sienna, um, phthalo blue, and then I'm just adding a little white, in it, just a little bit. It's still a shadow. Notice to do the edge here in blue, which is fairly dark. I'm using the edge of my brush. And let's see, up to that go. Stops being dark here and it starts getting lighter. And then I'm going to add just a, uh, oh no, wait, nope, that's going to be light. Yeah, it's going to be light, although a little bit darker. What's going on? Where else do I have kind of dark? So yeah, it's sort of a dark blue down here. So 
So notice that this is slightly, because I've added some white, this is the same mix, but it's just got a little bit of white added to it. This comes to about here. And you get a little bit of that. Yeah, the rest of this is going to be light. So if this is a four, a five, this is like a four. It's got just enough light in it to make it slightly lighter than what's happening here. That's Stella Blue, white and ochre, or? Nope, it's the same as this, but with white. Okay. So that's um, uh, burnt sienna. Oh, whoops, I forgot to do my dark. There we go, that looks much better. light version of this, which is phthalo blue, white, a little bit of yellow. We've got yellow ochre, we want it to be yellow ochre. We still want it to be fairly dark, so no orange is in this part of the mix. A little bit of yellow, but no orange. And then I'm going to lay that right here. What I want is to see a pretty distinct difference. If I don't see it, I add more white and I come right in and I add more white. Yeah, there we go. I don't want it exactly as yellow as I would like it, so I'm trying to get a, now it's too blue. <coughs> You'll find these turquoises are really hard to mix. a little light edge around the top of the cup all the way around. You can take that color up here. It's like dark here, but it's light everywhere else. might find you need to get more water on your brush. And then I'm going to do a light blend of my light into that dark side. So I'm kind of taking my brush and pushing the light into the darker edge on the side of the cup. A little blend thing. That's probably the only place we'll be doing blending.
And then to get this color, I'm going to add more blue so it's a little bit darker. My blue, white, yellow mix. So it's a little bit darker than what's happening on the outside. hard edges. This is a hard edge. There's no blending happening here. This is really, it's a full stop to the lighter, from the light to the dark. I don't need to blend that in. And then I can light, sort, I can look at the sort of light, there are lighter and darker parts of the handle. So on this side, if you want to use a smaller brush for the handle, it's a little bit tricky. If you want to practice brush control though, this is a great time to do it. You can see this like kind of, but if you want to use a, I'll give you permission. <laughs> I'm just using the edge of my big brush. It's looking good though. Yeah, it's coming along, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm giving up for today. I I have to work on that other eye and reconfigure. So I'll do it. I'll, in, you'll do it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I will do it in the morning when everything is dry. Yes. If anybody wants to join Joanna, she's already she's already got a class going in the morning. So I can tell that my blue is a little bit darker up here. So see how I'm kind of looking for the dark and the lighter. Now I'm just. Bye bye. Bye Diana. Bye Diana. Bye soon. Hard working lady you got there, Lisa. She does yeah. good for you guys. Are they, are they, there's not a lot of soft edges here. There really aren't. I thought there would be more, but there are not. You're absolutely right. Good observation. I'm so proud of you guys when I hear you say things like that. <laughs> well, right. I'm just brown nosing. Don't, don't. Okay, got it. <laughs> don't kid yourself. They're learning, they're learning. Like it. Ah. Um, and then the last color, of course, to add in here, and you might want to use a different brush because maybe your brush has got too much blue on it, is just the ochre and yellow. Yep, see my ochre is already dried. That's how long I've been working on this, this area. Is just ochre and a touch of burnt sienna. Oh, I'm out of burnt sienna. Yeah. Right, so I've got that in there too. So if you want to use a different brush for that, you totally could. This is also, as Paul pointed out, a hard edge. So once you've got these pieces in, now you can start, what I am noticing is that this shadow, the cast shadow needs to be a little bit lighter than the cup. Well, actually, I don't know, it's looking pretty nice, but we could make the cast shadow a little bit lighter. So if I wanted to add like, I don't know, a little, what would I do to lighten it? Add a little bit of white, 
I like that. Well, let's see, that looks pretty good. So I'm lightening the, the shadow of the cup around the cup because I think the darkest edge is really here. So to push this edge out, I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. to for the uh the the handle of the cup where it's really dark out here you can mix burnt sienna and burnt umber which will make a slightly darker color for this area here where it kind of meets the background and then go in there's also a light area here which has a little bit of there's also a little light spot here I'm just I'm just highlighting with white. And then you can use a little white to lighten around the edge where the shadow is. Let this dark will stand out. Uh, notice that there is a kind of a orange here. So I'm actually mixing orange and blue, the original orange that we mixed through our underpainting. I'm mixing some orange and blue and kind of laying it in here. Right where the light edge meets the dark edge. You want to do that you can um, but really and then we should do there should be some light color for the background it can be anything you want you can make it kind of woody colored you could the simplest thing is just to do um uh ochre well actually just to keep things a little bit more poppy a very light orange No, that's not the case. Let's see here. Burnt sienna, maybe, and, and white. Yeah. A way to handle this color around the edge is this kind of uh, sort of creamy orangey white, which is really just burnt sienna and white. I'm going over with the top layer here. But you can also pick any other color. You can make it yellow if you wanted to. It would look yellow. It looks kind of neat yellow. So I'm just kind of layering more color in over here. You'll also notice as you start, once you get these basics in, once you get the basics in, you'll see that there are little variations in the source. It's a little bit darker at the top, or sorry, it's a little bit lighter at the top. It's a little bit darker here. There's a slight orange. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't slight. There's a slight orange reflection right here in the blue on the inside of the cup. You could add that if you want to. So at, once you get the kind of bigger Very, once you get the bigger pieces in, you can start looking at where are the, what's happening as there's a transition in edge. Or you can even try adding some of these patterns in if you wanted to. See, look, now Lisa, I'm switching to a smaller brush. So I know we just did a lot of stuff really fast. 
So I want you guys to just focus on the basic. Notice there's a little light edge here. Also a little light edge here. So that helps kind of pull the cup handle out. Right, I'm gonna go clean up my brush brushes so I can do some more detailed work playing around with my colors a little bit. Hmm. Well, that's coming along. Yeah, send it along as you're working on it, you guys. If you like it, if you don't, if you want help. I like it. I'm just so I'm so exhausted that I, I'm not sure I can touch it up anymore. <laughs> Actually, keep working through the exhaustion, Paul. That's a really good. Just keep working. Because sometimes when you're really tired, you don't care, and then you loosen up and do the right thing. It's oh, weird. Yeah, that's like, so just push, push push, through a little bit more. I know you're tired. I know I've worked you guys hard, and it's already been a long day. But um, I love pushing through exhaustion. There's usually something interesting on the other side of it, where you're like, I just don't care anymore. <laughs> like, and that's often the moment when... Like I have a friend who uh, likes to paint a little bit hungry. Mm. She says that like, there's something about the pushing yourself through the hunger and just continuing to work. Um, that really is sort of an awesome comparison. Hey, when you're bringing in your background, Remember that this is a very hard edge, right? So you may want to bring your brush in like this. So load your brush with the background color, come right up to the edge like this and pull back. This is often the easiest way to get like a kind of hard edge line that doesn't, oopsie, I just went in there. It doesn't get raggedy. Leah, can you repeat what colors are you using for the background? Orange? Sienna and white. Sienna and white, thank you. Leah, yeah. will you send out the palette in, um, in WhatsApp so that when we come back to it, we know what we're working with? I already have. Okay. Yeah, she did. Okay. Oh, okay, sorry, I missed that. The palette you've got. Oh, Lisa Rollo, that looks great. Paul, good. Lisa B, yes. Lisa, Lisa R, yeah. Mm. So Lisa R, notice. Yeah. Notice that you lost your shape. Here. Yeah, totally. So you're going to want to come back in with the, with the light blue. Okay, okay. Like, take a light blue color and yeah. Also, notice that you have this all this cup all one color, and really, it's dark here and it's lighter here. Okay. okay. 
Uh, let me make sure that's. Value differential. There we go. See how light that is. Also, it's true that things dry darker. So that the teeth will sometimes dry a little bit darker. My br my brush is dying. I need to get a new brush. Oh, that's not a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I, that way about my craft brush too. I feel like the of course you're gonna use look this in there. The bristles are messed up. The 50-cent brushes. Get yourself yeah. a bunch of brushes. Yeah. I don't know about thirty dollars though. They want thirty dollars a flick. No, worth it. I have a I have a wish list on Amazon. I'll share it with you guys, which has a great little brush set for like twelve bucks. You get like twenty-five brushes. It's awesome. You get all kinds of brushes. I'll send it over. So with the wish list, you just have to. Well, the, the cheapest one I found was like ten dollars at Joanne's. I think I'll get that one. You have to be careful not to go too cheap. Again, desire, but. Let's see. Who's that? Coco? Yeah, that's Coco. Coco's very social. Likes to be around. Where the actual Coco is too social. She thinks that she's got everyone's gonna embrace her, and she gets into trouble that way. But she's so cute. Well, <laughs> not if uh, not if she knocks her down a three year old. She's not that cute. That. <laughs> that's not cute. Coco. She's good. She can speak now. Coco, speak. Speak. There you go. Oh, wow. Clever Coco. It just, it's sad because she's kind of, she's a mixed breed. Because she would, I mean, she would really be good at, at, um, at dog shows, but they won't take her because, well, she can go into the mixed breed dog shows, but not in the, the no. purebred dog shows. Yeah. Oh, who needs the purebred anyway? Yeah. Because they they have purebred dog shows all the time, and the mixed breed ones are maybe like once a year or something, or out in uh, Montana or. Yeah, it's all about the purebreds. All about the purebreds. That is true. Gosh. Lisa B, is Lisa B still here or did she go? Yes. I like your, I like how you got the little orange bit in here. Very nice. I love fluid orange. Mm -hmm. And I like this yeah. sort of orange bit that you got on the side, this reflection. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Light, dark variation. So spend some time looking at the lights and darks of the, of the handle. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna come back at it. I, I, it was nice to do it on the weekend when I had tons of time. Isn't it? Here, I'm gonna put these next to each other so that you guys can kind of see. Yeah. Variations. Anyway, yes, just keep working. I'm gonna stay on for a bit. Wow. It is eight twelve. It is twelve, but I'm ready to hang on. Okay, I'm checking out. I gotta take a shower. Bye, sweetie. Good to ciao. See you. Thanks, Leah. Bye. Ciao, ciao. See you, Lisa. Ciao. Bye. Um, I stay until eight thirty. All right, I have to go. We ordered takeout that is here and okay. getting cold, and my husband will get grumpy shortly. Lisa, you ought to jump in tomorrow to Diana's class. And work on this a little more. What time is that? It's 
Eight. Mm -mm. eight. eight. All right. Eight I might be able to do. I will see. At nine, I have a meeting that Rollo was on. Oh, God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yes, our lovely weekly meeting. Yay. Yay. Kath now wants me on that. Great work today, guys. All right, let's see. Ooh, Eugene, very nice. Oh, Eugene, I love this little orange bit you've got down here. Very nice, Rebecca. Gorgeous. Thank you. Um, so Eugene, I know you might have just not finished it, but um, I kind of like it. I keep this little orange bit here. And the only thing I'd say is lighten a little bit this center part and darken in here. Very nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Makes me happy to look at these. They're really sweet. I've gotten paint everywhere tonight. <laughs> what are you having for dinner, Lisa? Indian takeout that yep. just arrived. Um, although I have to say, I've strangely never been completely satisfied with the Indian food here in LA. But you haven't found any good Indian food. No, There's you a good place in. I know a really good place in where Pasadena. Yeah, what's it oh. called? Um, it's called a mint leaf. It's it's called a mint leaf. It's a uh, yeah, leaf. Really good. So it's leaf? award winning. Leaf mint at the end. Leaf. Mint, leaf. mint leaf. Oh, okay. Yeah. Leaf. Yeah, I will check leaf. that out. Um, mint leaf. Yeah. I am never quite satisfied with. It's it. actually a pretty good sit down. I think I've, I've I haven't I've taken out from there, but I've looked from inside. And it's really nice inside. All right, I'm taking off. Good night, everyone. Great work. Uh, Thank you, Leah. Bye. This is great. Bye. Bye. I'll hang on until 8.30, so you guys don't need to. Anyway, you can pop off if you want. Oh, much kitchen roll. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take off Le uh, Leah. You got, I think you did great, Rebecca. I'm glad Thank you, you. I'm glad you have power back. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Paul, that's looking really sweet. So I'll see you next week. Next week. Okay. Next week, I think we're moving to. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Ah, it's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> send a picture. Let's send a picture. Uh, it's I. I tried to put white, a little bit of white on, and I accidentally put too much on and then I tried to take it off and it's smeared all over the picture. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah, yeah. Just wait a minute and then put dark, let it dry. Have a drink of wine. Drink well, some. No, I think I might, just, I might just go over it with the blue, which I'm running right. out of. Yeah, go over it with the blue and fix it. There you go. Oh, uh, it's too dark. You can keep adjusting. Why is that color now darker than it was? Don't know. I'm doing great, by the way.
we we can touch up with the small brushes right now at this point or no? Yes, you totally can. You can. Are we allowed to? Yes, you're allowed. Okay. <laughs> are you sure? Or are you just saying that to? Sure, not to taking pity on us. I'm not just saying. Mercy. <laughs> that I'm. Says it and then cackles. Yeah. <laughs> just, just you're not giving us mercy and just laughing at us, right? Oh no, you're not no, messing with us, no, really. no, Yes. You are allowed to use whatever brush you want right now because these areas do really. You're really like uh, a smaller. Look. You're like a kid with the cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Let me use brushes. Yeah, I'm gonna take off me too. Thank you. It was a great class. Can we see Thank it? You. Can we see it? Can we see your final? Can you see again? We want to see um, yours and Maya's paintings. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to show it to you, but I could. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's good. Let me see. Sure. I think I'm going to wrap up the evening. I just seem to just be keep going over things and having to go over them again. So. So yeah, now is a good time to stop. Now is a good time to stop and revisit it later. Trying to figure out how do we get hard edges back when we have, I mean. Well, you just, you just create, you just, you just. Especially with the, you know, cause the, the orange is so light, you can't really paint over it. Well, you know, you do the, you know, you do the, uh, you can paint over orange. You can paint over any color. Um, uh, on the exterior, on the. On the okay. background? Yep. So if you've got the background, you just, you know, take your brush and load it up with paint. Let's see. I just take my brush and make sure it's- Oh, white paint. paint. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's orange. It's got, uh, I know it doesn't look like it's white, but it's orange. It's got white and orange in it. And then I'm kind of taking my brush, my flat brush and dragging it, going right up to the edge. Yeah. That. What do you think of mine, Lisa? Let me see. I sent it. It's about four pictures ago. I love it. It's great. Colors are going great. All right. My... I finally got the right blue. Yay! <laughs> Don't judge me on my shoes. <laughs> I love them. That color is gorgeous. So the only thing I would say, uh, Rollo, is to get a little bit darker in here. In where? Sorry. I'm sorry, I need to get the camera back up. Right here. What? A bit darker. A bit darker here. Yeah. I also need to, I need to sort out the handle a lot. It's, it's. I, but it's I, a good time to take a break and then wait till it's dry and then go back in and kind of redo things that you need to. Yeah. All right, guys. I think yeah. we're going to. I think we are going to um, end class now, unless anybody wants to keep going. But I think everybody's. Uh, and we'll just keep on going next week. And I promise, uh, no equipment fails next week. We're going to be all sorted by the time you get here. So actually, let me remove my spotlight. He's still here. Uh, let's go to gallery view. There you are. All right. Great work, everybody. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, not tomorrow. Next week. Uh, see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah. Ciao. Bye. -bye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.